after more than two years of online university, I am finally moving into my new home where I'll spend the rest of my remaining college years. Being the structured and organized person that I am, I created a list of all the things I needed to pack. Because I'll be spending my weekdays in Manila and some of my weekends in my province, we had to buy a few supplies and appliances so I didn't have to bring everything back and forth. We had to buy a microwave, a few kitchenware and cookware, which is kind of funny because I don't cook and I've never even cooked at home. But I think I should take this as a hint from my parents that I should start cooking for myself. We also bought toiletries and a few other moving in essentials for the condo. At the grocery, my mom and I had separate cards going in because I was mainly focused on getting my snacks while my mom was busy buying the ingredients for my meals. I had my priorities straight, everyone. I hate to admit it, but I think I'm at the age of enjoying shopping for groceries and household items. When I was younger, I dreaded coming with my mom to the mall to do that, but now I enjoy every minute of it. It is the day of moving in. We had rented out the van to transport everything that we had packed. We left the house quite late already because our condo doesn't have a parking and the mall nearby, which does have a parking, doesn't open until 10 in the morning. Luckily though, there wasn't much of a traffic and although we weren't very familiar with the route, we didn't encounter any problems along the way so it was just a breeze traveling from the province to Manila. This condo unit that I found was 21 square meters, which is more than enough for myself. It already had the kitchen, the bed frame, and the cabinet set up, so we had minimal to buy in terms of the furniture. When I posted these on my story, a lot of people actually messaged me because of the amount that I had packed, and truthfully, I was also shocked seeing how many items and belongings I had brought from home, but I guess I am embracing the life of an overpacker at this point. Other than organizing my personal belongings, I honestly had no contribution other than to unbox and unpack. I was just a spectator most of the time. I'm really thankful that my cousins were able to accompany my mom and I moving in because if it was just my mom and I unpacking and organizing everything, we wouldn't have finished within a day. Hi, We started organizing all the groceries, kitchenware, and cookware because those comprised the bulk of what we had packed. In the past two years of studying from home, I have gotten severe back pains from sitting on my desk for hours. My back pains will probably be the death of me. So it is important for me to get a study chair that I can comfortably sit on even for hours. I was quite pleased with the chair that I bought because it was functional yet stylish at an affordable price. These are just my initial thoughts upon unboxing. I have yet to recommend this chair as I use it in the coming weeks. So please take this with a grain of salt. Hello, this is Editing Pat here to tell you to not get that chair. I do not recommend it at all. The lumbar support wasn't supporting my lumbar. It just worsened my back pain. The back pain that I've experienced in the past three days of using that chair can probably be comparable to, if not worse, than the back pain that I've experienced in the past two years. The design of the lumbar support wasn't compatible, I guess, to the natural curvature of my back. So there was always a sharp pain on my lower back. Also, the mesh for the armrest was in a waist stinging my arm after leaning on it for hours. The chair also, for some reason, was slanted downwards. We had checked to see if any of her assembly was loose, but there weren't any faults on her end. So most of the time, my back was curved in a weird way to compensate for the design of the chair. Overall, I do not recommend it at all. Please, 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 at a time when we're almost always sitting in front of our desks, please look for a chair that will give your body the support it needs. Once we finished the kitchen area, we moved on to the other side of this condo to arrange the rest of everything that I had packed and reposition the furniture. When this condo was turned over, the bed was positioned in front of the window across the room so there wasn't much area to work with. We had decided to move the bed beside the wall so I can have an area for my study table. I initially wanted to help out but I let the bed just slam onto my fingers and the rest was just a painful story. After finishing up, I moved on to organizing and arranging the rest of my clothes and other personal items that were left.
The study table I had ordered from OFIX only arrived a couple of days after, which was alright because at this time, classes haven't started yet and I didn't have anything to do other than to lie in bed all day. I was more than pleased with the desk that I bought. It was already assembled when it was delivered, so I didn't have to worry about putting the pieces together. The materials were of great quality and the desk itself was so affordable, I definitely recommend this desk for anyone studying or working from home. Okay, so it is a couple of days after moving in. Hiromi was kind enough to send me their PX516 handheld vacuum cleaner, which I'm so excited about because this came right in time for my move in. In the past couple of days of living here, I have easily accumulated dust, dirt, and mostly strands of hair on the floor. So it is just timely to try this out now. Okay, so it says to take out the main head of the vacuum cleaner, which is this one, and connect the larger head of the injection nozzle interface to the dust cup assembly. Now, connect the smaller end of the injection nozzle interface to the four-wheel brush. Okay, so I can also replace this with this one if I'm cleaning like small crevices or smaller areas of my room. See? So yeah, let's give this a try! my entire unit. I just have a few corners to go, but I just want to say that I'm really, really, really impressed with this vacuum cleaner. I've tried other vacuum cleaners before, but this vacuum has such a strong suction at an affordable price. Its cord is also relatively long. I know that my unit is just a small area, but at home, this cord is really useful in case the outlets are far away from you. So if you're interested in trying out this vacuum cleaner, you can purchase it from Shopee or Lazada. I will have the link in the description below. So this is my home in the next two years. I am beyond excited to laugh, cry, and make fond memories here as I finish my degree. I miss you guys a lot, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!